Evening, folks. A little bit of a late start. <clears throat> just doing some, just doing some run-of-the-mill plug-in monitors back in because I had partly dismantled my workstation this weekend for uh, a maker's fair. Had to bring my PC out there to, or not, not even my PC, just my my monitor. So I could show some stuff with the game dev boys, the game dev meetup crew. And everything on my desk is slightly out of alignment. I'm noticing that like, my tablet is poking into my belly. Um, so what are we doing? So I didn't realize how long it would take. I double clicked on uh, the Skyrim Special Edition like... 20 minutes ago saying like, hey, it'd be real cool to like see what my what my my quality is like now because I'm gonna be uh, putting in a hand-me-down uh, GPU my buddy Matt sent me and it's still it's still running the first time setup so at any point during the stream uh, Skyrim might launch. <laughs> And we'll uh, we'll just roll with the punches. We'll um, probably quit out of that, and we'll see. <clears throat> but let me get my alert box open, and then we can get into Photoshop and begin begin our stuff. Oh my gosh, I don't even have the chat open. I don't even know if anybody's talking to me. People could be saying the the best and kindest things right now. I would not know. I don't think anybody is. Uh, broadcast title is good. Yeah, I think we're good. Let me just get Chrome out of the way. Uh, I'm kind of my brain is fuzzy. I don't I don't totally remember what we were doing last uh, last time we got together. But that's okay. We still have some just general stuff. General stuff to do. Like minimizing. <laughs> I have no idea. Skyrim is just gonna launch and catch me off guard. But that's okay. Let's get over to the the real deal. The stuff. Make sure I didn't unplug my webcam. Everything looks okay. Got the disappearing hand trick. Uh uh uh. J D James Ed. J D and J E. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really that fixed. Or it wasn't really that broken in the first place. I just um oh, lost my stylus. Um I wound up t taking it partly just taking my monitor over to like a show so I could show some game stuff. Um but everything's all better now. Oops. I'm gonna be doing more potential upgrading slash breaking of my computer this weekend. I gotta get a I gotta get a copy of Windows 10. And I've got a new, a new to me, graphics card. And look at this. I was just digging around upstairs in my closet, and I found, I found eight gigs of RAM just like chilling. So, or sixteen gigs. So I want to get this in there and have it up to thirty-two. Put it into that sixty-four bit OS before I do any of that stuff. Yeah, dude, Game Grumps. JD, thanks for thanks for checking out the Game Grumps videos. Rock Game Dev with the auto hosts and Mr. Street Fox too. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, JD, we're working on some new game stuff now. I still have some some Halloween Forever updates that I've been slow cooking on the side. Um, probably get an update out. JD Salinger, JD Salamander. Turns out JD Salinger is a big fan of Halloween Forever. Rest in peace. I think that dude died. Um, what are we doing? Let's. We're gonna. I want to get my new collision objects into into Game Maker. Never update. Never update Game Maker. How's the music balance to or the audio balance to mic balance, guys? How's the balance, guys? 
turn it down a little bit on my side. Greggy Poe. Don't know if it's Greggy Poe or Greggy Poo. <laughs> it's okay, JD. We know you're not. We know you're not America's favorite author. Greg, what's up, dude? Um, uh, yes, cool. This is the the GitHub version. The balance is great. Perfect. I love it. Oh, I've got updates about Game Maker Studio 2 beta. Greggy poo woo woo. So I can count the I can count the zero as an additional O. We're gonna be doing some bouncing back and forth tonight. <clears throat> and at any point, Skyrim might launch and catch us off guard, so let's see. I got my new collision objects. Collision subfolder. Oh, the chat delay. James said, I got some new sneakers, too. I got new sneakers. Just in time for winter weather to destroy them. It's sad, though. My new, my new sneakers have more tread on them than my boots. Yes! Fleeing peasants. I love the fleeing peasants. There, I've got my... Sp Slices. <laughs> That's okay, dude. Greggy Poo 85, specifically that name. Oh man. I don't know what I would do. Usually you think like, oh, this number combination, name and number combination is is mine. This belongs to me. But somewhere out there there's another Greggy Poo who's uh Sweat in your business. What a nightmare. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to select these anymore. That's right. No slices selected. I know. Come on. Don't do me dirty, Photoshop. Speedrun? Who said speedrun? Oh, yeah, yeah, the platforms. The the slopes, that is. I want to see if, um... Oh, yeah, I made some I made some teeny slopes. Teeny tiny slopes. Big slopes, little slopes. I want to see how much variety we can get with our current code. Uh, all user slices. Yes, that's the one. Let's see. Damn slopes. Um, let's organize over here. Did it make a subfolder called images? Yes, it did. So I'm going to put the collision PSD in the collision folder. Trying to keep my project folder a little bit more organized. The only Greg born in 1985. You're the only one that matters to me. <laughs> no one said it. Game Freak. Speedrun when? Are you saying you want to see me speedrun Halloween Forever? Oh, dude, yeah. That would be nice. Um, yeah, I've got to figure out what's going on this week, because I'm definitely not going to be doing a stream Thursday night, because it's Thanksgiving, and I want to chill out. Um, but might might try to do, like, an off-schedule something this weekend. <laughs> oh, James, dude! Tentative congratulations. I'm excited for you, buddy. Let's not jinx it, though. I'm knocking on wood. Do you hear that? Hear that? Knocking on wood. Do you want to see me try to run it? I... Oh, man. That'd be good. I should... Maybe that would be, like, a fun thing to do this weekend, is just hang out, eat some turkey gravy, some veggie turkey gravy, and uh, run, run some of my games... Because I can say games, plural, do some Death State and some Halloween Forever. I'm knocking to James. Can we get, can everybody knock on wood, please, for James' sake? We need, we need maximum superstition in this channel right now. I need everybody in the chat, all the viewers, all, let me do a count. 
Who's watching? All four of you guys. All four of you guys. Knock on wood for, for Mr. James. We need maximum superstition. And when this video goes up on the YouTube archive in like four months, please knock on wood. <laughs> and by then, James will have gotten his, his gig. His gain, it's so good to be gainfully employed. Oh, especially if you have a booger in your eye. Now my dogs are pumped. <laughs> Pumpkin Man is still free, WR. Just saying. What does WR stand for? WR. Oh, world record. World record. It's true. Oh, man. Oh, what am I looking at? Collision, images, cold ground, slope, slope, slope. Okay. Um, let's do a little test. Let's do a little test over in here. With respect to... Oh, cool. I've got my collision stuff in here. Uh, yes, the new collision ground shape. Sprite collision box. World record time. Ground. Let's see how much stuff we can break. Still on Game Maker Studio. Probably not going to really mess around with Game Maker Studio 2 a whole lot. Unfortunately. Hey, that's all the blue demon sprites, my buddy. Gargoyle. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I don't know if I told you guys. Uh, no problem, Game Freak. Do your thing, dude. Um, I got version control set up to do commits and stuff on the prototype game, so all of that can, all of that should be doing what it ought to be doing. And getting, getting updated all correct and stuff, backed up all correct. Oh, this is really got. This is gonna bork things. It's okay. Uh, slope one. What is this? That's the long thing. I flipped these around. And my sprites. You can see how my thought process changed from 2015 to now. Load sprite, collision 30. Collision slope. I think that's approximately like a 30 degree angle. Collision slope 30. I abbreviate these a little bit. Let's do these long ass names. Collision ground, collision kill. Probably gonna need to change the sprites on these kill objects because they're probably kind of ugly. Okay, collision slope 30, duplicate. They're just still up 30 small. Excuse me. A little dehydrated. Had a lot of coffee today. Now I'm drinking some tea. Feeling good though. I've got my sweatpants. <clears throat> Just the teeny one. Yeah. I like the whole the combined object. Okay, let's call this one 45. How's everybody been though? James has got some exciting news. Exciting potential news. Makes me glad. Oh, I forgot to change the sprite. Oh, and also the Sprite objects are going to be transparent now, so we'll be able to see see stuff behind them. I got really excited by looking at a 
Sean Spaulding sent a couple updates out. Or he had some, like, tweets up about, um... Game Maker Studio 2 features. Uh, there's two that got me pretty excited. One was the dynamic tile mapping for uh, the tile level editor. So you could have... Um, let me actually see if I can vaguely demonstrate. This is gonna, this is gonna look like dog barf. So instead of having... Oh yeah, because I moved everything around. So instead of having... tiles... Like so, where I'm placing individual tiles, you would, you could get away with having, you know, like starting off with a grid of. This is. Let's get my grid snapping correct. 32 by 32, right? Yeah, so you have a grid, like so, and then as I like hollow out spaces in there, this automatically becomes floor. Or it's like it's like context uh, context dynamic based on like parameters you set. So that's pretty awesome. Cool incoming feature. And another thing that they're going to be offering, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to use, I would like to try and use, um, is what is it? Is uh, they're going to have tile map based collisions, which May or may not work with how I'm envisioning doing my collisions in the next game. I might need more control with stuff like these shapes and things, but we'll have to we'll have to see. Honestly, we will have to see. Low disk space. Yep, I hear you, buddy. I gotta do some computer fighting this weekend. Menu start. I want to get a new case too, but I might have to sit on that for a minute. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to double check my objects. Let's get those names looking good, except I'm referencing them in code. Wait, just no, I'm just referencing parent objects, parent slope. Yeah, okay. Object. I think I can rename these. Object collision slope 45. And you've got parent wall slope. Yep. Duplicate. Small. Nice. Yeah, dude, your wrestling gifts. I wanna see uh I wanna see more wrestling gifts in the future. I never got into wrestling, but it's always fun to like take a glimpse. Take a glimpse into the wild world. Uh, I hope I didn't make changes in um Game Maker. On my laptop, I might have. Oh, if I did, I'll manage. An intro song, like an intro song to my stream, <laughs> like the the imaginary monsters fight song. Well, oh, already exists. P.S. Slope thirty small. That would be pretty epic. All right, now I'm out of music. All out of tunes. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> An imaginary Monsters fight tune. Uh, what am I doing? I should probably have my alerts window up, too. Okay, let's uh, rebuild this puppy a little bit. Oh, first I wanted to... Let's make a insert group collision. I'm also gonna start organizing shit better this time around. 
a little chiptune song. That's cool. Object collision kill. Gosh dang it, I wish there was a way to select multiple objects. There's gotta be a way, just some dumb dumb way that I don't know or understand. Drives me crazy sometimes. Uh, object wall. Let's get all the parent wall, parent wall slopes. We'll get those in here too. And uh, put the kill collisions down here. Okay, that seems a little tidy. I need a recording of you really excitedly saying, hey, it's Pete. <laughs> we, could, we could probably arrange that. I'm down to excitedly record a sound. Okay, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's just, we gotta change our room setup a little bit. Settings with 600, let's make it Three thousand seems like a giant room. Two thousand seems like a giant room. Holy moly! Let's do one thousand for now. Yeah. Height. Five hundred. Okay. View settings objects. Let's move things around. Negative five hundred. Man, even with my sweatpants on, I'm still feeling that draft. That little basement draft. Yeah, dude, send me an email about it and we can uh, we can chat some more. About the, the mystery tunes. Uh, yes, okay. What happened to our crazy grid? Everything's... He's odd whack. Oh, right, right, right. Because I shifted stuff by a non power of two amount. Dang it. Okay, let's get this. Let's get everything. How many pixels is that? Whoa, hey, buddy. One, two, three, four. I think we're four off. Four to get us onto the grid. Nope. Oh wait, no, that might be that might be okay. It's because that's not even... Would help if I was snapping uniformly. Six, 16 to 16. Doesn't help that this is an odd number. Okay, I just need to do this. Yeah, that's alright, dude. An intro could be fun. Could be fun funny, I'm not sure. It's not something that ever entered into my mind. Wrestling is good when it's silly. I can see that. Okay, how many pixels are we off on our tiles? Seems like a bit. Probably just redo this room and say be damned with it. Oh, I think we overcompensated. Let's get the same tile so I can compare. Yeah. Better. Okay. Back on 
back on track. And yeah, I think we're gonna redo all the collision in here. Cause current stuff is is bupkis. Yeah. Gonna flip X on all these. Oh, except these. Oh, line all funny. Tigerian, what's up, dude? Of course I decided to show up. Don't sound... Don't sound crazy. It's what I do. Uh, I want to know why positioning on these is so... So shitty. 32 by 32. Arr, what's the deal? Because it's not at all centered. Object collision slope. 45. What are our offsets doing? Centered. Yeah, you're not a dummy. You're not a 12 by 12 sprite. Uh, 16 by 8. Sure, these... What if it would be so bad if I just make all my collision objects... Don't stand so close to me. <laughs> Sting has stung. Oh, 48 by 8. These numbers are going to be garbage. Let's see. Okay, that's more what I would expect. 16 by 16, easy snapping now. That's that's nice. Nice and easy snapping. Nice easy snapping there too. Looks like everybody wants to play nice again. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can embed slopes into the ground and have it not freak out. Uh, that's a good test. But yeah, I want to build out our cool, fun testing room a little bit. Whoops. Also, I need to start testing out um, exporting a Mac build. Eesh. So many things. I think I gotta. I think I gotta come off my Halloween forever vacation in a little bit and just get knuckle down and get some of that stuff done. That sweet vacay is about to end. I might make my collision objects a little more transparent because these are a little opaque. I need to make them a little more transparent. Indeed. We're gonna have a cool, cool debug testing room. Also, this will be good. I need to start. Uh, I need to start fiddling around with um, DT base timing, and not rely on just step timers for everything. Whoa. Half measures. No good. I knew something was up. Should have listened to my gut instinct. Objects. Right. No man, um, my buddy, my I've like I have some friends with kids who want to play it, and they're on Mac too. So I gotta gotta look out for the little ones, the lads, lads and ladettes. 
Collision slope small. Okay, can we do these? Wait. 45 small. What's this then? Ah, I see. I see what we did. We never changed the sprites on these. Oh, no, on the objects, not on the... I made dupes, but I never actually changed them. Collision. Look at that, so organized. 45 slope small. 30... Collision slope small. Cool. Oh, there's my little peewee. My little baby. Little baby slopes. That's what I want to see. The wee ones. Yeah, man, they're kids. They don't know any better. <laughs> Think of the children. The innocent little kids. Think of the children. Uh, let's... Whoops. What am I doing? Huh. Huh. I don't need to zoom that around. Uh, focus. This 16Y0. That is going to help the snap a little nicer. Yes. And 8 0. Zero, zero. Again, snaps a lot nicer. Ooh, could we do this? Could we do this? Wouldn't that be a treat? Snap to snap to snap. Oh, man. Be still my... Be still my beating heart. I'll be so, I'll be so stoked if that works. Little acute, obtuse little angles. <laughs> we made... <laughs> Chat delay allowed us to make the joke at the same time, Tigerian, but I think you made it first. <laughs> think of the children. Uh, let's do that. Let's see. Boop. What am I? I'm clicking on the wrong thing. I'm trying to select them in my library thinking that's the way but it ain't the way oh okay a little more we're not gonna do a ton of this tonight but I just wanted to I just want to see what I have what I have in mind I have a dream of making like this nice fun sandboxy set of uh, whoa of uh, debug testing rooms to just you know kind of pilot test all sorts of fun enemies and things and effects and stuff and we'll see if that see if that actually comes to fruition Street Fox is playing Rocket League oh. what's Skyrim doing? just chilling chilling keep calling that triangle a cutie <laughs> Two thousand seventeen. The year I discovered I had an obsession obsession with uh, geometry. Flip packs, try that. That's some collision that bumps into flat walls. I want to see how the player object responds to those. Let's just put a little tile here. Cool. So we've got something visible we can stand on. Bellissimo, let us see. 8.11. Probably going to try to wrap it up at normal time tonight. Just because, oh gosh, yeah. Last night was last night was a doozy. We wound up driving through some pretty gnarly upstate storm action. And my mind is tired. <laughs> what took us like normally an hour and 15 minutes to drive on the throughway took like a little bit over two hours and there's horrible conditions all, like absolutely no visibility probably saw like 20 accidents along the way it was not it was not fun but we made it 
We live to tell the tale. And the vehicle's unscathed. We're unscathed. Oh, this is not... This is not the updated build. I definitely have, have stuff on my laptop that I don't have here. Well, that's a shame. I had such good stuff the other day. Where did it go? Are these not parented correctly? Alvaro, what's up, dude? I've got a mystery to solve. This sucks. I'm gonna have to do like a really nasty merge on commits. <laughs> Edwin Abbott. Flatland dude. <laughs> That's nice. Let's see what you did there. Object player working. Tell me this doesn't have any of the good stuff. Going up slopes. Will I notice the difference? I'm pretty sure I pretty sure I cleaned up all that commented out garbage. Ah. Ah. Dang it. I gotta take a look in Source Tree real quick. You know what, Tigerian? I have a copy, but I don't think I've actually ever like read it, read it. Unfortunately. Let me just move this over to the side of the screen real quick. Uncommitted changes, I know. I'm prop. Son of a bitch, I'm probably. I know updates, I know. I'm not going to install updates. Give me a break. Uh, tell me I'm behind. I know I'm behind. No, I... Please turn off music triggers. Nothing significant. Maybe I didn't push what I had? I'd be mad if what I'd had that works just disappeared. Hang on. First, what are you? Wait. Object player working. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Reddit, Reddit. <laughs> Crazy cat, what's up? <laughs> you got me. I think I even have, uh, or no, maybe, I don't know if I have it. I think I have the, Rudy Rucker wrote a book as sort of like a sp spiritual successor to Flatland. Hang on a second. I've read parts of that because I like Rudy Rucker. What is it called? Spaceland? No. Strange Horizons? No. What? What is it called? Oh, uh, what geometry? Can I spell geometry correctly? Geometry, relativity, and the fourth dimension. That's it. It's published through Dover? That's nice. Whoa, Rob the Swan. Whoa! That's a big host, buddy. Mamma Mio. You guys all came at the right time to watch me break my prototype. <laughs> Forget why it doesn't work properly. Things are good, just dodging torrential storms while driving and surviving. Oh, I don't have a command. I don't have a command. Rob the Swam, what's up? Rob the Swam. Thank you. Thank you, Tigerian, with that. Very cool. I wish I knew, like, an emote for a thumbs up or something. Well, this is really annoying. I really want to know why all the shit just broke. All the shit. 
to which I can only say, what the shit. But that's okay. Uh, we'll just go back to working in Photoshop for a minute, because parent wall slope, those are all parented correct. Parent wall slope. Okay. Object player working is in there. Rob, dude, thanks for the host. That's super cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. Place meeting. Yeah, dog butts. Oh, nice, dude. I don't think, um, man, it's been a while. Yeah, I think I started, I started around January last year. <laughs> it's programmed by the guy who designed USBs. Oh, he like plug it in upside down. Yeah, boo. Yeah, I have, I have some friends I do like a Skype D and D game with, and um, we uh, we do pretty good. Those, those are one thing that I am pretty up to date with on YouTube, so you can go back and watch some of those if you wanted. It's okay, Crazy Cat. You don't have to do your homework tonight. <laughs> don't tell your parents. But do it. Do it after I'm done streaming. Get that homework done. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna close Game Maker and Sulk and go back to Photoshop until I find out uh, what where my current player controller object is because I don't know apparently apparently two projects in source tree are too much for me to manage between a laptop and a and a desktop and I'm just I'm just losing shit now so that's that's unsustainable and my photoshop canvas background is not great and it's disorienting thank you Oh man. A report on Oscar Schindler. If you could always watch Schindler's list. Get you started. There's a sad story. All the tears, all the tears in the world. Yeah, there's lots to be said. Lots to be said about that man. Oh, not a nice color. Also not a nice color. I'm gonna fill in his mouth. <clears throat> Excuse me, with some pixels. All good, home working. I guess this is kind of home working away. Optional homework. <clears throat> Aw, that's okay. Crazy Cat can take a night off of homework. That's okay. It's okay. Some people need a break. Currently studying game development and software development. Unfortunately, they haven't covered pixel art, more of the core basics of game design. Uh, any tips for animating pixel art? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a guy. Hang on, there's a guy who's doing really good tutorials for animation and pixel art. You should check out this guy, Mr. Booyah. Take a look at that, Saint Saint Eleven. You're lucky I had his uh, tab open. He puts out little animation tutorial gifts every now and then. I don't have my sketchbook. Oh, I don't need it. Um, he puts out cool little animation tutorials, and they're highly informative. Yeah, superhero. Superhero. You're you're in my you're in my imagination. My imagination pit. Yeah. Oh, and in my imagination, my legs are getting cold because it's freaking chilly in this basement. All right, what are we gonna do tonight? Game maker was a bust. I don't know why. I don't know why my stuff was being a pain in the butt. Move 
put that over to the side. Now all I'm going to think about is like going upstairs and yelling at my laptop for 30 minutes after this. Basements do tend to be cold. Uh, monsters in my pocket. No, not really. I like monsters in my pocket. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty cool. But, gosh, I haven't thought about monsters in my pocket in a while. I knew a guy who had like a lunchbox full of like the whole set. I don't know if he collected them or got a... <laughs> yeah, superhero. If you're not careful, you might get the hose. <laughs> well, let's do some just miscellaneous enemies. And whoever's Canadian is going to be the first to put the hose on you, if you get my drift. Oh yeah, the new uh, the NES mini console. That's very good. I think we can turn off the grid. Just toggle it back and forth a little bit. Watch out for my little Metroid head crab here. Pocket monsters. Ah, crazy cat. I still need to go and make an excerpt of your slurping extravaganza. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. Well, I have forgotten to do it. Or, no, I haven't forgotten that I need to do it, but I've forgotten to actually do it. Because, uh... You know, get busy. Getting busy with stuff. It's hard to not be busy. Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon and Monster in My Pocket. Those are always nice. I like, um... It's really cool, uh... James, I don't know how easy this is to find, but, um... I don't know if you ever have followed, like, the... Game Center CX stuff. Oh yeah, the smiley face. You like this? <laughs> There's a Game Center CX interview with uh, one of the guys who like created Pokemon, one of like the Game Freak dudes, and it's it's really cool because it's like Ariano interviewing him, and he has uh, and he used to do like he used to essentially just publish publish zines and stuff, and it's really interesting seeing you know like hearing him talk about the stuff that he used to do. Uh, before, like, Game Freak got really involved in doing game, game projects and stuff. And, uh, it seemed, seemed kind of like a... That's a little bit dangerous. A little dangerous. Let's take a step back from the ledge. Take a step back. Caps lock is cruise control for the cool. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, Pico Cafe. Yes, I want to go. I would love to go there someday. Lexalawful and Pico Cafe. It's, it's. I really don't know what's going on, but uh, I guess they host just like game jams and stuff. Yes, yes, absolutely. Pico Cafe is like the coolest... The coolest potential thing. <laughs> you could say Cleveland, Ohio. Instead. Get some old Garden of Earthly Delights fellas in here. I need to spend more time looking at uh, 
like Hieronymus Bosch art. Bos Boschian. Yes, Pico Cafe. An earthquake. Oh, man. That's very thrilling. <laughs> My pet turned into a massage pet. <laughs> That's a positive way of looking at it. <laughs> a very positive way. I like your outlook, superhero. <laughs> Keeping it posy. You gotta keep it posy, dude. You don't know if buying Pico 8 is worth it? They, um... Oh, hang on a second. If anybody... If anybody's thinking of buying Pico 8 right now, before you buy Pico 8, wait a second. Just wait a second. Because... There's a good deal going on right now for anybody curious about it. If you like to read... If you like to read... Uh, ends in 17 days. God, there's so much time for this bundle. Yeah, story bundle, story bundle. You got it. Exactly. Alvaro, you are so smart. I like the, uh, I like the... Sto the video game story bundles in general. I need to pick them up. I always pick them up because I like to have just cool game books on, uh... My phone for, like, miscellaneous reading and things. Yeah, dude, I love the little Nemo game. I haven't seen... I want to see the movie. Again. I haven't watched that in a long time. I like this guy's colors, though. <laughs> Again. Purple isn't dark enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Little Nemo movie. It looks like... It's weird. It looks like a Ghibli thing. But... I don't know... What studio worked on it. But it definitely... It definitely smacks of anime. For sure. Man, I want to play more Pokemon. This little guy is reminding me. He's reminding me of my beloved Grimer. My shiny little, my shiny little slime baby. I caught him sleeping the other day. Booyah! Good luck, dude. Good luck in college. Get all the A's. Get a 4.0 this semester. I'll be so proud of you. Whoa! Booyah! 192. Yes, very similar to Spirited Away. Oh, are you saying this stuff is, this guy's similar to Spirited Away? Oh, that just had its, uh, Spirited Away is having its 15th anniversary this year. 15th anniversary. Grimer is me as a Pokemon. Alolan Grimer is so fancy, though. It's so, like, so encrusted with jewels. Game Freak, yes, shoveling! I feel your pain, bro. Shovel in the drive. I wonder if we... Can we get away without outlines? Probably gonna put outlines on these. Yes, good luck in college! A college of mystic knowledge. You're a wizard, Harry. And you go into wizard school. That's how Harry Potter begins. Uh, you go into wizard school. Yeah, Princess Mononoke. Oh, Rob the Swan. Gosh, I really don't know about, like, 
game freak. Uh, I really don't know if you can set priority to monitors. Yeah, I'm going to windowed. Rob, windowed mode is on. It's on the deck of updates that I'm working on getting in. Not literally working on right now, but um, it's on. It's on the short list. I hear you, buddy. Sorry about. Sorry for the inconvenience right now. But a couple of people have asked for that, and I think it'll be reasonable to do. Princess Mononoke, I haven't watched that in a long time. It was it's uh it's a lot it's a bit darker. Which is kinda nice. James, that sounds great. Yeah. Rob, sorry dude, man. I'm feeling I'm feeling the pain right now. I want to help. Cuz I think I think I have like some bad setting in there that doesn't let you resize the window once it's um Gosh, once it's opened or once it's uh swapped out of alt tabbed out of full screen. get it sorted. <laughs> Ships be cute girls. There you go. Yeah, this guy. I mean, his, his life is probably suffering. <laughs> I'd, I'd, be, I'd be tired, too. Uh, I'm not crazy about that shadow line. shiny. Who knows what this guy is. We have yet to discover. A little rump shiner. Kantai collection. Yeah, Rob, dude, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. I'll try to swing by one of your, uh, one of your sessions one of these days. Angry and surprised little fish man. He's kind of big too. I'm looking at him compared to the other sprites. He's like his relatively... Maybe he's not humongous. Fishnet stockings. <laughs> oh, dangerous, dangerous fish man. I don't even know what keyboard shortcut I just clicked. How are we doing on time? 8.36. 8.36 T minus 24 minutes and counting until we break for the night. Let's get some more miscellaneous demons and imp things. Let's take full advantage of this beautiful palette. We have at our disposal. <laughs> oh, Alvaro, thanks, dude. Pixel art gets easier. I think just, you know, you spend more time doing it. And, um... I used to be I used to be very slow at it and it would it would be kind of hard getting uh getting a result that I was happy with I used to I, I think I used to spend a lot more time you know just 
it's it's weird. Like getting used to sketching in pixel art is uh is different. Oh, Tigerian's getting triggered. <laughs> Come to twitch.tv slash imaginary monsters for only your basest desires. <laughs> Perfect for licking stamps and blowing kisses to your neighbor. And um, perfect for Whoever was asking about pixel art earlier should check out Pixel Edit. Yeah, Pixel Edit is is one of the one of the very inexpensive but very powerful good tools that people can use. Pixel Edit is good. This guy be like kind of a like a mean little devilish onion. <laughs> you know me, I'm just a, I'm just a mean little onion. <laughs> A giant nose. Oh, it does kind of look like a giant nose. <laughs> yeah. There's some bugs for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm trying to think. Different things, different habits I've picked up um, as far as making pixel art a little bit easier. Let me turn off the grid. I think one thing, um, you know, some people don't really like how Photoshop handles making lines if you use the you know the pencil tool if you fill the shape up it might be easier to see we talk a about this for a quick moment let me hold down shift and do this I'm trying I'm trying to make here we go I'm trying to make like an awkward line interval and uh, <laughs> I don't feel that way about fish people a fish fetish <laughs> fish people fetish this is one thing that like gets people caught up on fish uh, fish I'm having like now I'm having a Freudian fish a Freudian slip um, people get caught up on lines and edges <laughs> he just cry when he sells himself making good clean lines in pixel art so we have like the interval as far as how like the line is increasing from like this point to that point where it goes like increases by one one on the X one on the Y then up two, up one over one then up two over one and part of it is just kind of finding, you know, can I describe that line with this shape or is the line that I need to describe it more of like a, like a two-step interval? You know, it's not like you need to restrict yourself only to sort of like clean edge consistent lines and even doing stuff like curves. When you do things like curves, and really it depends on what you're going for too, um, but I've found that, and I think other people kind of agree, that if you're trying to make a smooth curve, it's easier to you know practice making smooth curves before you maybe get into like jagged shapes and stuff, and making them look good. But you start from like a longer interval, and it decreases, decreases, decreases down to single pixel, then it gets longer again, longer and longer still. And that's going to help you sort of describe, you know, a nice relaxed curve like that. I do love onions, guys. I do love, I do love eating onions. I like raw onions. I like green onions. I like cooked onions. Oh, cool. So you can like toggle, toggle aliasing as Photoshop would call it. Yeah. Anti-alias edges. And so alias edges are sharp edges. Anti-alias edges have dithering. So pixel art is aliased, you could say. Some people some people that that's still that's still goofs me up though I have to check that all the time man my feet are getting so chilly I'm glad I'm wrapping up in uh, 
a couple minutes. I need to like crochet some booties or something. Atheist edges. <laughs> yeah. Hat time. So these are atheist pixels. These are agnostic. Then you have the Gnostics. All manner of pixels. Oh, my hat is cold too. Son of a pup. Just can't win, guys. And it makes my music quieter also. This guy is like a little children of the corn bean. Oh, nice. James, I'll try to host you when I'm done. Let's do that. Put the hat over the headphones? Yeah. Then I'll be one of those streamers with like a silly hat gimmick. Wrap it up like booties. <laughs> Tiger, you're taking me out of, out of context. I like booties. This guy's like long lost pumpkin man's cousin. Oh, update the HF command. Did I? What does it say? That's so incorrect. Oh yeah, Steam Early Access. It's not on Early Access anymore. And it's not really available on HIO anymore right now. You're right, man. You're right. Dude, there's so many things I need to update. Oh my gosh. If you want to try updating it, feel free. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how the Nightbot permissions work because it's a Nightbot command. I won't be I won't be upset though if you try to update it and it fails and we have to do it again. That's really okay. Look at this little guy. What do we want? I kinda want I kinda want him to be sitting in like <laughs> sorry nose, excuse me. <laughs> I need the space. This guy's so giant compared to Little gargoyle, gargoyle boy. This PSD is gonna be a mess. I love it though. He's ginormous. What can we do here? We need a five-step plan. Five-step plan for tiny onion reduction. Get at least sort of similar in scale. D D D D. I think I already made a. That's what these layers are for. Nice, dude. I like that. <laughs> Tigerian, you could start making just like surprise commands. Goof, goof me up someday. Exclamation point, Tigerian Dono is the best. It says Tigerian Dono is the best. <laughs> we don't need to be possessive about that cat. Oh gosh. Erg. Making junk pixels behind stuff. Dude, no sweat, man. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. As always, much appreciated. My little, my little internet family in the sky. <laughs> Gotta love that internet fam. Yeah, that's a good purple. I don't know why I just love this pose from like the, the game over screens. Just 
just a cool little buddy. Just loves to lounge. gotten pretty comfortable. Gotta get that curve going. Yeah, I'm not sure what <laughs> I'm not sure what the onion guy's deal is, but he's fun. Oh, and I I thought I was working on the bottom one. <laughs> eh. Never mind. Forget forget everything that happened here. I thought I was working down here. <laughs> what a night what a night for brain farts and tears. Can't get a break, guys. Oh my goodness. I was working on the wrong one. A suit could be cool. Alright, I think I gotta move a little peewee face. Excuse me, little little pet. Get back to the the glory of yesteryear. We'll make pixel art great again. I'll get it chill. <laughs> the smaller one is its child. <laughs> He's like the apprentice chiller. It's like, how do I be cool like you, mom and dad? How do I relax? I'm trying to learn to relax like my mom and dad. And this head shape's all lumpy too from that transform. That's one thing I've, <laughs> just like mommy, I've noticed is pretty handy in Photoshop is um, taking transform, but making sure you turn uh, turn nearest neighbor on as your selected mode, and it's good for you know like quick little crisp edge. Uh, it transforms on pixel art. You still need to go in and clean it up a little bit because it's gonna it's gonna bork all of your intervals and such. But you can at least get a good good approximation started. Pixels. Borked, yeah. Exactly. Uh, much like a dog. Bork, bork. Indeed. Okay. Ten minute countdown. Let's get some good outro music that we can play while we wrap things up. And then I gotta do some I gotta do some frig detective work and figure out what the hell happened to my lovely working gargoyle controller object. I'd be so upset. This is too lively. Too peppy! I need something more chill. Bonk, where are you when I need you? And... I don't know how many minutes this is. We'll just let it play out. It's got some short tracks in there. Bork, bork. Dog spotting. You guys could all report the sighting of a uh, of an onion doggo. It's nice. I like the kind of little arm raised up in the air. It's extravagant, lavish.
<laughs> What's up, Funk? Form. You got it, dude. Hello, Abyssal ladies. Nice. I'm not sure exactly where we're going with this, but I like it. Keep at it for a minute. But yeah, form, dude. What's new? What's happening? <laughs> Ooh, ouch. That sounds like a shocking experience. Ouch. Ooh. Zing. There we go. This guy's got kind of like a butternut bro thing going on with like the narrow tiny head. I wonder how bright we can get with his eye highlights. There we go. He speaks to me. He really speaks to me. Yeah, I'm getting some. I'm getting some cool vibes from this weirdo. Now my music is too quiet. Rust. Yeah, sort of like a like a baby onion, baby onion weird mysterious spirit. I need a dark brown color. Maybe a dark purple. This. This or that or this. Sure, we'll do a little bit lighter. I like the warm edges. Like a cool gamble guy. Yeah, guys, we'll have to see. We'll just have to see. I feel like I just saw something move. Could have been a mouse. A little mouse phantom. Maybe I've got Pokemon on the brain. Fantasizing Radita is running around. little bit light compared to the, the black color in between gosh that's okay we'll get this we'll get this outline set up as like a mat and then we can go back in and tweak get the top edge too da, 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 da. something just nice about outline pixels a little bit of effort to sustain it. Whoa, nice dude. 76. Oh. Dude, awesome. You gotta start posting the stuff somewhere. I wanna see I wanna see the updates. Or if you are posting it, remind me where to look for it. So as that I can see. That might be a better color. Yes. We'll do that. That's good. Making this guy smaller, we still get the overall effect, and it kind of tightened up his design some. Uh, except I'm still kind of torn about the. Yeah, let me. I'll give you guys a little. We can compare the big to little. There probably won't be. There probably won't be both. It was just I was trying to do taking the sketch and then trying to get it closer to relative ratio to the character. 
Yeah, dude, suggest the way. I do not mind. You're not you're not being annoying by making a suggestion. <laughs> Accident relaxing. You might need you might need like some pants delineation. Oh, contiguous, please. This arm. <laughs> Draw me like your French girls. Cut a little off the back of his crossed leg. I think this leg needs to get taller, too, or higher up. Hang on a second, hang on a second. We're, I think we're close to it. Just did it? Cool. <laughs> we read each other's minds. Same, we're the same person. <laughs> That's cool. Anytime you're like, hey, I've got a suggestion. I'm like, okay, cool. And then like mentally erasing and be like, fix something, fix something, fix something. <laughs> See if I can beat you to the punch. It's a cool, it's a cool mental game for me to play. Tweak something, tweak something, quick, quick. Keep Greg on his toes. <laughs> It's interesting having the internal line be darker than the external line. Very interesting indeed. Oh, what a guy. Oh, nice dude. <laughs> One more beat you to the punch? I don't know. I might not have time. What time is it? Yeah, it's nine o'clock. I think we ran out of time. Here's a quick little. We'll make. We'll turn it into a Valentine's for you guys. There we go. Something cute. Screenshot it. Love you. Love you guys. <laughs> you don't like his crotch? Oh. He'll be so sad. Don't hate me because I was born this way. <laughs> Take it easy, superhero. I'm about to wrap up anyway. That'll be a good little Easter egg for the next time we get together. Alright. Um, so yeah, guys. I'm not going to be... Not going to be around on... Oh, dude, you got the skeleton! Yes! Move it more to the right. Let's see, let's see. Let me just do a little... Let me just tweak the crotch a little bit. What the kids say these days. You got it, you got it, you got your screenshot. A sweet little Valentine's for you to share with your buds. <laughs> let me make sure he's not covered up by. Let me look at my overlay to make sure he's not covered up by any junk. There we go. Get him right over the logo. Kicking me in the head. Oh, Photoshop, you little turd. Turd burglar. 
All right, maybe I could do a pose with him. Where are my hands? Rust! Rust! Oh, nice. Uh, try to guess the game convention here. Huh. Yeah, send me a link to it. I haven't heard about it. Um, that would be cool. I've never actually been like a special guest for a con. I've exhibited and stuff, but that'd be fun. Yeah, dude. If you know who I should email, I'll check it out. May is far enough away that I don't really care about the repercussions of taking a day off to <laughs> go do something. So that's pretty cool. All right. It's wrap-up time. Bring. I won't be around on Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. Duh. Y'all should be sitting at home stuffing your faces with delicious Thanksgiving foods of your choice. And, um... Oh, yeah. My hoodie. I always wear a black hoodie. I should just be... I'll just... By the time I'm a perfect streamer, I'll just be a floating beard with no face. But, yeah. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll wear a different colored shirt next time. We'll see. I just love wearing black. But yeah, you guys are good. Uh, if there's going to be like a DD and d game or something, or may, I might try and do like a makeup stream off schedule. Elvaro, dude, thank you for hanging out. Um, yeah, I'll post some updates about it, but, you know, I'm working on plunking through the, through the archives and slowly getting stuff up to date, so... They'll be, Alvaro. Thanks for the follow, man. They'll be getting, they'll be getting up to date, over time. James Ed. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody. Uh, shout James Ed Smith. Dude, are you gonna do a stream? Cause I can host ya. I can host ya, Mr. James. James Ed Smith just went live on Twitch. All right, everybody, we should go raid James Ed Smith. Let's do that. I'm going to quit my stream and host James. I'll see you guys later. All right, you're awesome. Bye-bye. P.S. a minute.